Hi, it's me, Bam, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are on my PC account because I want to take a first look, first impressions, whatever, of Labos. Labos, right now, is only available on PC, sadly. It won't be coming to console till early next year um so yeah i want to take a quick look at him maybe use him in a mission or two just to see how he is because he kind of intrigues me if i'm being honest kind of intrigues me also i yeah let's look at his passive okay let's just look at him Energy and Universal Orbs give Lavos status immunity for 10 seconds. Hold any ability to imbue the next damage cast with additional elemental damage and status. Okay. Okay, so his first ability, um, let's see. Lash out with a toxic serpentine strike, consuming the target to heal of us. Okay, so basically that's my healing ability. That's, that's pretty cool. Cool down eight seconds. Okay, see, this is... This is what the cooldowns mean basically so lavos lavos is different than most frames lavos does not use suits you. lavos doesn't use uh, energy at all naturally i'm kind of curious about something so i want to check it like, if I put Streamline on Labos, in theory, in theory, that should cool, make the cooldown of his abilities go a bit. Cooldown, reduction, okay. Oh, okay, so this will affect the cooldown reduction, but that doesn't affect the initial cooldown. Okay. So that's interesting. Not sure if I like that or not. I guess we will see. Let's go ahead and put everything we can on him, I suppose. So it's a projection, we definitely need that. Blow, we do not need that at all in any way, shape, or form. Wait, hold on, hold on. Ability duration. If we put that on him, what happens there? Okay. Does anything affect the cooldown rate? I guess we can't. Adjust the cooldown rate. I mean, it kind of sucks, but it looks like we can't really affect the cooldown rate, right? I mean, maybe I'm missing something, and sorry if I'm taking way too long at this, guys. I'm just, you know, trying to sort of get a feel for. What about this? This would increase casting speed. I wonder if that means... Nope. Nope. Because there's literally no mods in the game that do cooldown because, you know, cooldown is a new thing of sorts. Do we even have a strength mod that we can put a strength? Thing on him, you know, so we can at least see the ability duration. I guess we'll put this on him, 
Intensify. There we go. That's a strength of mine. Intense streamline is useless basically right now. We will go ahead and put not redirection, not still fiber, but vitality on them. Okay. That that strength. Okay, that's fine, that's dandy. And, you know, let's actually see how he works in a mission, shall we? And I decided to take him into a fissure mission of sorts. Wait a minute. Okay, so see, that's his main weapon, but that's not what we're here to look at. We are here... To look at his ability so basically ability goes by cooldown system if I hold it it will endure it so the next ability it talks in which you know it seems like it would just keep that in there so I can just load it into the chamber as it were Actually, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Loading it into the chamber, right? Per se. Yeah. Honestly, that's pretty cool so far. I'm loading it into the chamber at Toxin. Oh, I don't need to have... Uh, they're unlocked yet to use them. It's just one, two, three, four. I can just load into the chamber. And there's a hot pick. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it's good that there is a hot pick. I'm just trying to show it off, though. Okay. So, that's cool. I'll be honest. This is... Probably my favorite feature of it so far that you can load it into the chamber Okay, that did not do a lot of damage, but that's to be expected because I don't have many mods or anything on Okay Its ability was just unlocked. Oh wait. No, it's disability damage. That Ooh That's like a uh, basic Let's see. Okay. It's very directional thing. Okay. Huh, I wonder who that is typing. I know for a fact that sometimes red text is Marcus. Sometimes it's Megan. And yeah. I've actually done interviews with both of them. Um, there will be a link to my podcast in the description below. But yeah, so far, this probably is my favorite feature so far. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Then that means, wait, I can load. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why is it, wait, can I combine elements while... Wow. Wait, no, 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 this isn't right. Okay, 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 maybe I'm wrong. So if I combine one and two, I can load viral into the chamber. That's brilliant. Oh my, oh my, oh my. And then when I use this, it would do viral. Okay, wow. I can load, I can load. I can come okay see I knew you could combine elements but I didn't know how it worked exactly I thought it was just something sort of you know within the you know you could just load them into the chamber and then each ability would do its own thing but no like look I'm holding three and holding four, 
So I just combined that to make radiation because fire and electricity make radiation. This is, this is actually very brilliant so far. Now I'll admit I don't know how I feel about the cool down thing, but you know, because it seems like the cool down takes a long time. So I'm not sure how I feel about this. The latest weapon seems to be decent. It has an alternate fire as well. Okay. Let's do, let's do some good old last damage, shall we? I think we were too far away. Oh, see, that's, that's probably one downside. Like, say I combine two elements, and I do it, and I'm too far away. Even if it doesn't hit anyone, it still uses the thing because it used the thing. Okay, let's see. What does the third thing do? Okay. So this third thing, still no clue what it does or how long it lasts or anything. Okay. Okay, so that's definitely like a beacon thingy and it seemed to make the energy thing and the universal energy thing. Which honestly is pretty cool. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I definitely probably put some duration on that. So, you know. <laughs> I'll be honest, this is kind of fun. I just, okay, okay. You want to know what? I think this ability, I mean, this frame, the way he is right now, I'm going to say it, okay? I think in this aspect, he's a better elemental master than Chroma is, okay? Yeah, I'm going to say it right now. Based on my very first little impression, wait, did he just gain more armor by leveling up? What? Oh, well, whatever. I think all frames do. Eh, whatever. Anyway, um, okay, see, Chroma can't load stuff into the chamber. You have to literally cycle between, abil between elements for Chroma. With Lavos, you can literally load it into the chamber, as it were. So you have it on your next ability cast, whatever ability that may be. Okay, if they want to stay till 10, I'll stay. If they don't, I won't. Because I don't mind either way. Okay, I do actually need some of these stuff. Actually, I'm a little jealous because I need to zap D on my PS4 account. So if I get the zap D on my PS4 account before, on my PC account, it will be a little bit odd there. I always hover over this in case they want to leave. But yeah, if you guys would join me for a little bit longer, we can test out a few more things with this because it's actually very cool. So let's see. It has all of the stuff here. So if I wanted to load in gas, plus I'll be honest, I kind of like the little icon thing. It looks so cool in my opinion. But then I loaded gas into the equation. Oh, okay. And then that did plus gas. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. But then while I'm waiting for that to refresh, that to refresh, 
than this. I don't know if this makes the ability to refresh faster or not, but I mean, it seems cool. Wow, okay, so just imagine you're about to face a big boss thing. You're like, oh, I want to fight Grenier, but I didn't bring any weapon that can kill Grenier. You go ahead and load up gas into the chamber, as it were. And then that enables you to be able to just do that. I'm going to pretend like I got that kill, okay? The only, the only thing is I wish... I wish I could make it apply to like weapon hits as well. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, so if I do this, and then do this. The good thing is I don't have to worry about, um, yeah, I know there's an update, okay. The update, as I'm, I'm not posting this video to a day later, but I actually made, am making this video on the day of the update. But yeah, this is so cool. Just loading them into the chamber. That, to me, that just seems so awesome. This is the unique, I'll admit, but to me anyway, which I could be entirely wrong, but it seems like they are, you know, using this frame as sort of a test because, you know, they don't seem to like the whole fact that Warframe, that you can just spam Warframe ability, like, all the time, just like, Constant spam. The longer do you have energy, you can spam. But this makes it impossible to directly just instantly spam because you know they are on duration cooldowns instead. It actually let me know what you guys think because this could potentially add a different thing to Warframe. See, I'm... Okay, I just hope they don't do it on every frame. I feel like adding unique stuff is cool. Like right now, okay, so if you played certain other games, um, like Final Fantasy and whatnot, you know, abilities have cooldowns and stuff. They, um, you know, might take energy or something, but more than that, they do have cooldown. And this frame, the ability to have a cooldown. So if you treat it like that, then, yeah. Honestly, I can see it. I can see it. But yeah, with that said, I'm going to end the video here, definitely. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys think this is good, if you guys think this is terrible, if you guys can't wait to use him now or whatnot. Let me know. Comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the future. Later.